I show you HD video tutorial series using GarageBand to voice over and add music. Now the trick with GarageBand is to capture using low compression first since we have to re-export, hence we use one of the intermediate settings. Note that these will only be available if you have iLife installed. Note as well that the basic idea is to get the timing on the visible parts of the screencast approximately right but not caring about the sound. As with most things this will make sense when shown, so let's do an example. Here I'm going to screencast doing a simple calculation. Let's select the calculator as the capture area. Select the fixed mouse mode and one of the intermediate targets as an output. Don't forget to turn the microphone on to record the commentary. This is called a guide track and we'll remove it later. OK, we're ready. Click record. The calculation we're going to do is to find the area of a circle of 15 meters radius. So that's 15 by 15 by pi is 706.9 square meters. Press Shift Command 2 to stop the capture. Like other I show you captures, this one's ready straight away. So let's start up GarageBand. We select Create New Music Project and give it a name. Since this is not a musical project, I also like to click this control here to switch the time base to be hours, minutes and seconds. To add our I show you capture to the GarageBand project, we merely drag it into the window. GarageBand also created us an instrumental track we don't need, so highlight it and delete it. What we have left is a project with two tracks, the video track and the guide track we captured alongside it. Let's add another to record the voiceover. Go to Track, New Track and select a real instrument track. Next move the playhead to approximately where you need to record your first voice prompt. Noting that the track is still selected and has the red recording marker enabled, press the record button to record the prompt itself. Press the record button again to stop recording and press the playback button to stop playback. VoiceOver can be cut by moving the playhead to the correct place and pressing Command T. These cut pieces can then be deleted or moved around independently. Then preview by moving the playhead to before the voice prompt and pressing play. Music can be added by dragging it from the audio section of the media browser. It can also be dragged directly from iTunes. If the music is too long, it can also be cut with Command T and then delete the unused section. The guide track can be removed by selecting it then choosing Track, Delete Track from the menus. Finally, we can export our finished screencast by selecting Share, Export Movie to Disk, and choosing an appropriate target.
and we're done.